What happens if you remove all of the features from Windows XP? Do you unleash a bare bones operating system or will it crumble into a heap of useless code? It's a risky proposition, but it could also lead to a more efficient and streamlined operating system. Let's find out. I have taken a Windows XP Home Edition ISO and extracted the contents to a folder on the desktop. Now to open Enlight and select the option to remove components. We are greeted with this menu, allowing us to select the components that we would like to keep so you don't accidentally remove or break them. Of course, I'm not going to check any of these components on this menu because the goal is to remove everything that can be removed. Now let's start checking all of these boxes. There are many things that can safely be removed from Windows XP. Inlight is actually very good about not removing anything that will prevent Windows setup from working properly. These checkboxes are categories for components, which can be expanded to show the many underlying components that, in this case, we will be removing. One last thing to look at here is this Advanced button. This dialog box allows you to define specific files that you would like to either keep or have removed. I suppose we can leave msconfig marked as safe from being removed today. Now to sit through a long and boring progress bar, or that, that works too. Half the video is just gone now. In the end, we get an ISO that is roughly 90 megabytes in size, down from the 565 megabytes we started with. Let's install Windows XP using this ISO to see what it looks like. The text mode part of setup isn't impacted by the changes, so we can skip that part and move on to the GUI phase of setup, where we can see a significant difference. The installing devices step feels like it takes a while to complete, and may actually be the step that takes the longest, which is odd because all of the drivers have been removed. The footage has not been sped up, slowed down, or cut. We are watching this in real time. I am going to cut out the product key, but that is the only cut. Normally, we would get a prompt for network settings here, but those components have been removed. The GUI phase of setup took roughly 90 seconds to complete. After the computer restarts, we are sent right to the desktop because the out-of-box experience is one of the components that was removed. You may have noticed that the default Fisher-Price theme and the iconic Bliss wallpaper are missing. Let's click on Start and see a very bare start menu. For reference, here is the standard start menu for Windows XP. Under All Programs, we have very little because so much has been removed. Control Panel is another place where you can see how much was removed. In the Task Manager, notice that there are only 12 processes running. I may have inadvertently made Windows XP extremely lightweight. In clicking around through the various properties windows, I noticed this anomaly where the check mark is selected to allow indexing, but the indexing service has been removed. Out of curiosity, let's see if any other features can be removed through Add Remove Program. Nope. And apparently very little can be added. Hmm. The next step in this project is to see how useful Windows XP is with no features. If we refer to our list of 15 practical things we can do with an old computer, 
and exclude the hardware related suggestions, we have building a home server or network attached storage. As the networking functionality is completely gone, we can cross these items off our list. Media server, file server, web server, email server, or dedicated game server. Again, no networking functionality. That also rules out external firewall or router, TiVo or Slingbox, surveillance system, kids first computer, and setting up a live weather station. That leaves us with two possibilities. A guest room PC, if you want to mess with your guest, or retro gaming and emulation. Removing all of the features that can be removed from Windows XP doesn't make it better for retro gaming or emulation. So this experiment was mostly useless. A better solution would be a middle ground of removing some features and keeping others, like the networking functionality. 